What is going on guys? Victor here and I'm wade fishing today but today's goal is not just wade fishing but you guys have never seen me actually keep anything to eat while wade fishing but today's that's gonna change. I'm trying to get a slot snook or you know some trout maybe a keeper red maybe a uh, keeper flounder you never know what you're gonna get while wade fishing but that's the goal in mind today. I do want to do another catch and cook and I really actually want to try sea trout because I have never cooked sea trout before and I've never tried sea trout but from what I hear it is very tasty just like all the other fish we got in Florida so that's the goal so if you guys want to see that keep watching because it's going to be a good day and it's going to be an exciting time there's never a dull mo moment while wade fishing so I'm starting out and working these shallow docks because every time it's rough like this uh, every time I've come up here we found a lot of snook really shallow up along the first few pilings of the docks and this is actually my first solo wade fishing trip. I've never done it before. It's kind of nice actually because you got the entire uh, span to yourself. You don't have to really fight over who's going to hit what piling or who's going to hit what hole. Oh, there's bait getting busted right there in front of me. Oh, see, I just hooked up, reeling in. That's a little snook. I just got, literally just got hit while reeling in to go cast into that school of pot, that school of bait right there. There's a bunch of little glass minnows right there. They just got hit, and then this little snook just hit right here. That was pretty cool. And I got the perfect conditions, guys. It's rough, the water looks like chocolate milk. So you can fish, uh, you know, you can get really close to these fish when it's rough like this. They're not as spooks. Come on, little guy. It's a little, little snook, but uh, definitely putting up a fight. All right, let's get this guy going. That is the typical size weights like that we usually catch. And then you get those slot size fish occasionally. All right, just like that. First fish of the day, got the skunk off. That didn't take long. I think that was honestly like my fourth cast. And um, my leader is not afraid at all, which is really nice. I don't have to retie, but I think I'm gonna make a couple more casts in this area right here because I saw those baits getting busted and that snook hit right there too. So definitely worth a shot to keep casting. And it is April now. The last time I weighed fish, I honestly think may have been early March, maybe late, late uh, February. So it's definitely gonna pick up by now. I think the warmer it gets, up until it gets too hot around July, but I think like now in between April and May should be really good for wade fishing, from what I hear at least. Guys, I really hope it doesn't rain because there's a lot of rain forecasted and I'm looking right in front of me. There's a pretty nasty storm, so hopefully it doesn't hit me. I don't mind getting wet, but the GoPro doesn't really like getting wet so much either. There's the microphone, so I'll probably have to hide for a little bit. Let's see if Mr. Pelican knows what's up. Here comes the rain guys, so I think I'm gonna sit it out for maybe five, 10 minutes. Hopefully it passes through real fast. I'm gonna go hide under this little, it looks like it's probably an abandoned house. I don't think anyone's gonna mind. Okay, enough sitting around, I'm hiding from this rain. It finally let up a little bit. It's just kind of drizzling, so bear with me. The lens is gonna keep getting wet, but I'd rather be fishing than not fishing, so I'll just have to Wipe it every once in a while, but rain or shine, it's fishing time, guys. Woo, it is raining a lot harder than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know if that was such a good idea to leave my shelter yet. Well, this sucks. It is really pouring now. I'm hiding under this dock, and this is no fun, and I don't see when it's going to end. It does not look like it's going to end anytime soon either. So we're just sitting out here. Waiting for it to pass.
There we go. Oh man, there's a, oh no. You know what guy? Oh, he came back. No, he came off again. Oh, he's still on. Man, do I have, it's a little snook. And there's stuff getting blown up right in front of me. I think this guy came back for it like two times. Come here, bud. Snook number two. You never get tired of catching these things. Big or small, they're still fun. And I feel like the small ones are just so aggressive and fast with it too. That fish just like, I don't know if he was running in with me and that's why I felt like he dropped it and then came back for it, but it almost felt like he picked, oh damn, look at all that stuff getting blown up right there. Look at all that stuff getting blown up right there, all those mullet. Big pot of mullet getting blown up in front of me. And it's funny too, both snook that I've caught today have been out in the middle of um, the sets of two docks. No snook has been at a, at a dock itself and I haven't gotten hit at in between a, a set of pilings or anything. Both snook have been in between the two sets of docks that I've been fishing. That was a nice hit. Oh no. That was a solid fish, guys. That was a solid fish. That was not bottom. He just let go. But damn, that was a thump. There, there he is. What is it? It almost looked like a flounder. It came straight up. It's a stingray? What is it? Oh, I think it's a stingray. Oh yeah, it's a stingray. Well, I definitely did not want to hook one of these ever on the while wade fishing, but it happened. And I wonder if he actually ate it or if he, uh, if I just foul hooked him by accident. Uh-oh, this is gonna be a battle. These things are very, very hard fighters and unhooking him is not gonna be fun. Because <laughs> I don't have any pliers or anything. So I'm gonna try to bring him in real shallow. I think I probably snagged him by accident. I don't think he actually tried to eat it. Great shark bait, but definitely don't wanna be lugging this guy around in the river right now. Let's see. Weight fishing, you know, I'm never really worried about getting you know bitten by a shark or stepping on a stingray but it goes to show you you know they're definitely out here i mean look at the one that i just snagged you step on this guy he's gonna wreck your day to think about it the fact that i was gonna walk through that dock right where he was i could have stepped right on him and he was laying there because i cast it at the exact same spot and i snagged him in the wing i'm pretty sure so i would have stepped right on him that's not something that's not an ideal situation definitely don't want that to happen that is a weird looking ray too what the heck that looks like one of those uh wow i've never seen a stingray like this never in my life have i seen one like this and i almost, i don't even know if it has a stinger on it it's wild looking, seriously crazy looking. All right, let's unhook this guy and let him go. That is a bizarre one. I've never seen one like this before. It honestly looks like, it's got like the skin of flounder. And I don't know, it looks crazy. I've never seen a ray like this before. It's pretty, actually pretty neat looking. Let's see if I could flip him over. I don't really see a stinger, but just to be careful, let's see, let's put him over here. 
I think this is called a... Uh... Actually, I'm not even going to take a guess. I have no idea what it is. It's a crazy looking ray. Yeah, I snagged him in the wing right there by accident. But this guy will live. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Look at him. It almost looks prehistoric. Have you guys ever seen a stingray like that? I have never. Come on, bud. There he goes. And stingrays are... See how, see how easily he blends in? You could easily step on that and not even know. I don't even know where he is anymore. Kind of, kind of spooky thinking about it. I did not see a stinger on him, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't one. That was interesting. Was not expecting that. Definitely a species to add to the list of things that I've caught before. I mean, I'm definitely going to research what I caught when I get home, but if you guys want to go ahead and comment in the comment section below, because I don't know what kind of ray that was. I know it was some kind of ray, but go ahead and comment below. Real, real, real. Come on, this is going to be your first shark ever. How old are you again? Six. Six years old and you're going to catch a big shark? Uh-huh. 